Cleveland Browns right here. Let's not forget that they still have Kareem Hunt. They still have Nick Chubb. Amari Cooper's there. Uh, clearly, Donovan Peoples-Jones, David Njoku. We know some of the players that are on that offense. But more importantly, that entire defensive front seven is still intact with, you know, Garrett Wilson, uh, not Garrett Wilson, uh, Miles Garrett, Jock, Jeremiah Owusu-Kor Moore, the linebacker. You got Denzel Ward, Grant Delpin, and Newsom on the back end, you know, in the secondary. And those are fairly younger guys that were just brought over to the team, let alone brought into the league not too long ago. I, I vividly remember the Delpit and the Greg Newsom pick. I remember the Jock pick as well. Miles Garrett, number one overall pick a few years back. You know, so this team still has plenty of people on it to where, again, I'm not I'm not calling for an AFC title game or, or a Super Bowl. But if the Browns won 10 to 12 games next year, I wouldn't be shocked. And I, and I know you're probably, well, what about Deshaun Watson? Here we go. I still know Deshaun Watson has juice left in the tank. I know he looked like crap last year, but let's not forget that he literally went through, and I'm not bringing his situation up, but he went through all the allegations, that life-altering situation, and essentially missed almost 30 straight NFL games. He didn't play for a whole season. Deshaun Watson literally had an amazing season, threw for almost 5,000 yards and over 30 touchdowns, and we didn't see him on the field for an entire year. So he comes back after week 11, obviously doesn't look great. You know, I just think it would be silly to be out on Deshaun Watson. Like, uh, again, you know, we we could potentially have the the whole, you know, how Le'Veon Bell sat out and it looked great when he came back and, you know, how Derrick Rose got hurt and never looked the same again. I'm not comparing injuries or sitting out, but when players have certain things in their career and they're, and they're just never really the same again, could that happen with Deshaun Watson? Duh, absolutely. No question about that. But I do believe the Browns are still going to be able to be solid. Again, you've got a Kareem Hunt. You've got a Nick Chubb. You've got an Amari Cooper. Deshaun Watson. Um, I really should have put him in my top 10 quarterbacks for next year. I probably got him just below you know, Smith. I've got him better than a Kirk. I've got him better than a Dak. It's the whole reason I had Aaron Rodgers number two. Oh, Adam, he only threw for 3,500 yards. He also lost to Vaughn Adams. It took him a couple months to gel with Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs. Um, I mean, what, like, what do you want to happen? You know, <laughs> like, what do you, what do you want to happen? You know, Aaron Rodgers is still the second best quarterback to me because he's just one season removed from back-to-back -back MVPs. I'm still going to have faith in Deshaun Watson because of what I saw from him. He didn't even spend a full five years, solid years in the NFL. I think he had three. He had three great years, missed one, had a little over a thousand yards after coming back after week 11. So the Browns are definitely going to be a sleeper team to me.